Hi, Ligaya. Yes, Ligaya. I got some great news. Something really great just happened. We're gonna live on a farm. And our place is gonna be much bigger than this place. Yes. True blessing. Mm -hmm. It's the picnic that I know someone's getting her salary. Yes! My boy Scott, good morning. It is a wonderful day today. I'm not sure why. Hmm, let me think. Maybe it's because yesterday just bought a dream farm, like fulfilled a childhood like dream. OMG! Yes, my boy Squad. Today is a wonderful day. Amazing. She originally was watching me dance around and I think I scared her. Yeah, my baby's addicted to shopping. Sorry, I was playing some old parodies of mine to like pick up Legaya's spirits. Legaya, come say hi to my boy squad. Good morning. Yes. All right, and for breakfast we have last night's cold pizza. Yes, from Yellow Cab. Mm. Yes. Do you guys like cold pizza? It's amazing, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Sorry, the guys. I know you've never seen me this excited ever. It's because something really great happened yesterday. You won't understand until maybe a year or two from now. But trust me, it's great news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, got my morning coffee, yes? Mm -hmm. And for Legaya, we got some organic herbal tea. Yes, blueberry, mm -hmm. hibiscus, and rose hip. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Morning warm herbal tea. Energy for today. Lots of antioxidants. Mm -hmm. More or no? Okay, there you go. Oh, today's a great day. Yes. More. Squirt. Yes. More. Squirt. Oops. It's okay if she gets a little bit on her fingers because, well, first of all, there's no sugar to this, so it's not really sticky. It's still very watery. But when she preens, she actually ingests the good stuff in here too. So like if your bird isn't willing to take um, herbal tea orally, spray it on their feathers. Like put it in and then when they cream, they, they consume it. Or you can even take the dry tea stuff and sprinkle it in their solid food. Amazing. Yes, okay, that's it. You drink a lot. You're definitely gonna have watery food today, okay. going for a walk around the hood as usual. By the way, all of you newcomers, welcome to the channel. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, join our family if you feel it's right. Yes, welcome. Look at all of this oncoming traffic that is watching me on display with my cape, <laughs> my parrot cape. I'll just move out of this populated area. I, I don't think I'll ever get used to wearing this cape in public oh dear mm. but it doesn't matter why because today is a great day the guy flew to me like while I was working and I looked at the time and it was exactly 10 a.m. so I'm like ah oh, the guys wants to go out so here we are soaking up that 10 a.m. Sun and it is a glorious day right the guys it's kind of incredible because this walk suddenly has new context, right? For those of you who don't know what I'm so excited about, you can watch yesterday's vlog. I'll put it here. 
Watch that after this vlog. Mm -hmm. We bought a farm. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I know that might sound strange to some of you, but it's literally a childhood dream of mine. Like I remember being in kindergarten and we were asked to draw what we wanted to do or be when we grew up and I drew myself as a farmer <laughs> with like animals on a farm. So yeah, really excited about that. My brother texted me saying, I'm talking to daddy and he's saying you bought a house. <laughs> so my parents have been watching the vlogs and well, I haven't really been sharing my plans with my family. Maybe my brother, if anyone. So my mom and dad found out the same time you guys did. <laughs> hi mommy, hi daddy. Sorry about a farm. Surprise. But as equally as exciting as the farm is, I'm as excited about the home that we're going to build. The company Mabuhay Squad Home. You know what I'm saying? So many epic plans. We've been having meetings with Dennis. Sorry, wait, I gotta cross the street before I like die. Sorry. Here in the Philippines, you can literally just stick your body in front of a car and go like this and they will stop. <laughs> so yeah, we've been in uh, touch now with Dennis, the architect who you saw from previous vlogs. And he is just incredible. All those years of experience, he looked at me and he assessed what he thought I would like. The guy's a genius. He's amazing. So you might know in a few vlogs back, he visited my place. Um, and at the time I just said that him and his family wanted to see my aunt. Well, they didn't just want to see the aunt. Dennis wanted to take pictures of my setups so he would have a better idea as to how to epically design the new ant room. OMG guys. So I have all the footage of Dennis checking out my ant room and his epic plans. Check this out. So guys, Dennis is here with his family to check out the ant room so he can plan how he's going to build the ant room in the dream home, yes! What do you think? Do you think it's doable? <laughs> how should we transport this stuff to all the way to Cavite? What do you recommend? Like this, this is, we can't empty it. Yeah, actually, actually, bro, this one can be carried by hand. Yeah, at least three or four people. Oh. No problem about that. Okay, good. Uh, all of Carry this by can hand. Be, uh, L three hundred FB van. Ah, uh, okay, Close great. Van. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what? Yeah. You need the uh, van with aircon. Air conditioning would kill the ants, so <laughs> it would be a long, hot drive to come eat there. Okay, but a uh, uh, steel van is also very, very hot. Okay. Is, is the temperature? Better? I mean, like room temperature is okay. Yeah. Okay, room temperature. Yeah. Wow, but wow, the wow. 300 FB van is not a cold van. Okay. Um, you can you just open the the air con so that uh, also it, All right. it will have a room temperature. Perfect. Okay, yeah. okay good. Perfect. I think only. I mean, some things can be removed, like this water portion can be removed. Some of the wood can be removed. Yeah. How about the water? Water we can decrease, yeah, yeah, definitely. And like some of the wood though might have to stay. I'm not sure. I, I have to pull it apart. Okay, Dennis has some master plans. What are your plans? Uh, okay, we're going to build uh, uh, a wall, but it's formed like a cave. A cave? Yes, with the flowing water. What? And then we're going to uh, put soil and then uh, some plants, vegetation around it. Oh my gosh, that and would be awesome! But it will be enclosed in a glass also so that you can see the plants, how they move and how oh, wow. they uh, Wow, wow, wow. Nice. That's crazy. The ant room, the ant antiverse will be completely different in the new home. Wow, this excites me so much. Thank you, Dennis. Amazing. So we're going through plans with architect Dennis now. So this is the property. This is where the house will be. Leaving big tree here for the aviary in like, like the middle of the house. Incredible. And then here, um, he was saying we can create a reservoir of water mm -hmm, yeah. for like farming of shrimp, uh, oh no, snails, shrimp, and tilapia. Mm -hmm. Because each of those three uh, creatures occupy different niches in the water. Mm -hmm. And they don't kind of like the tilapia stay towards the top, mm -hmm. the shrimp stay towards the middle, and the, sh the snails stay towards the bottom. Mm -hmm. So we could farm that and like eat it ourselves, I guess. Mr. We're planning Mr. now where the rooms are going. Yes. Um, we're gonna have some rooms in the first floor 
for my parents if ever they come stay with me so they don't have to climb stairs. And look at this, RJ, a swimming pool. Someone has to learn to swim, finally. Uh, yeah, <laughs> RJ doesn't know how to somewhere. swim, but he's gonna have to learn. Oh, here? Yes. Guys, goats. goats will be grazing here. Mm. Okay. And then we're going to have uh, access here going to the back. Uh, the back. Ah, okay. Uh, awesome. Uh, we'll lay this out, this cage, uh, to be like a uh, cage for ducks, then cage oh. for cows awesome. or chicken. chicken or something. Guys, there's even going to be a cage for animals here. Wow, wow, wow. And this water reservoir will be nicely decorated and mm -hmm. naturally designed like yeah. a pond. And then from the pool, we can uh, create here a small bridge. Oh, here. that's so nice. And then this will be the... That would be awesome. I'm so excited about this. Two sides of it. One side is so water much. and one side is water vegetation. and then vegetation. Sweet. Mm. He was saying from the kitchen we'll be able to look out the window and see goats and stuff grazing on on plants. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Guys, isn't that amazing? Oh my god! Isn't that amazing? A cave? <gasps> A cave cave walls? Like full boulder and rock and like stalactites and stalagmites. <gasps> The new Antiverse is gonna be epic, guys. Something tells me. But it's just amazing. And then Legaya will have a nice living area. I cannot wait for that. Seriously. Okay, guys, someone here has a conure. One of you guys pointed out that every time I walk by this area, you hear a conure. Um, and it's true. It's here, and I just heard it again. Someone, someone here is a parrot owner, Legaya. Anyway. Very cool. I hope to one day meet that parrot owner. Right, the guys? Uh, anyways, yes. So, plans for the upcoming home. Of course, right now, we are just laying out the plans, the blueprints. Um, nothing is set in stone yet. There's a lot of things we need to consider. Um, decisions to make, budget to plan. <laughs> We're in good, trusted hands with this architect. Dennis and his team are fantastic, fantastic um, builders, engineers. They're a big team and, and they're great. So by the way, I'll leave all the contact info to Dennis and his team. If you guys need any work done, if you need to build your dream home, it's really better to have a home built like to you as opposed to looking for a home. I mean, I, I wouldn't say it's better, but for one thing, it's cheaper, right? Uh, and second of all, well, depending on the age of the home, right? But uh, also, it's kind of like the difference between having a custom-made suit or going to the department store or, or somewhere else and looking for the suit that fits you. You know what I'm saying? You can have it totally designed to your lifestyle and character and personality and all this. So um, that was what kind of blew my mind. Now the only thing is, we have to wait to have it built. Like it'll take a while. Um, Dennis estimates it'll be one and a half years to two years to complete. <sighs> That's a long time, right? Um, but you know what, I don't mind because just knowing that it is coming, papers have been signed, right? That's enough for me to say at least we've done something about you know, live it, my living space, our living space, our workspace. This is gonna be a company home. We're gonna, we have plans to build a studio in there. Um, like a, you know, where I could film YouTube videos, even a recording studio too. Just epic. There's gonna, we're hoping to build a pool in the back uh, with swim up bar, a pool so RJ can learn to swim. <laughs> um, but again, these are, uh, these are just like plans that we're hoping to do. Nothing is completely official yet and of course, by talking about it, I'm probably jinxing things. <laughs> um, but uh, this weekend, in a few days, uh, Dennis will be sending us the, the plans. He's designing. He's designing right now as we speak. <gasps> I am so excited about this, guys. Super duper excited about this. And I'm honored that you guys are joining us on this journey. Hey, guys. The harness bothering you? By the way, she like totally was okay with wearing this harness today. Did not fight. Made me put it on her. Like she helped me. <laughs> like in the sun, huh? I know, me too. Mmm, thank you for preening me. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you for preening me. One of the neat things I find about the home that's gonna be built on the property is that the water will be coming from a natural source. Now I said it's gonna come from a well, but it's not like we're visiting some hole in the ground and we're pulling up buckets of water. No, it's going to be a natural, I forgot what they called it. It's like some natural table, water table, natural, basically there's like underground, there's a bunch of like natural water. That's where our water is gonna come from. Um, there's gonna be a piping system from there. Uh, we asked if like water pressure would be strange if it's like a natural water source. Dennis says no, absolutely not. So I'm like, okay, cool. And also another thing is we talked to Dennis about trying to design the home in such a way that it's um, eco-friendly. You know what I mean? So we're hoping to build lights that, I don't know, turn off when you leave the room um, in certain rooms. Uh, also to have uh, a big tank that collects rainwater so we could use that for irrigation of our plants. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. Uh, and I thought that was kind of cool too. We want to leave less of an ecological footprint, right? In 2018, this should be a priority in life. So what's gonna happen to my condo here in Mandaluyong? Nothing. I'm keeping my condo, why? Because I need a place in Manila to stay. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And I love my condo. My condo has sentimental value to me because it was the first property I ever owned. Like, okay kids, all of you guys who uh, are hoping to one day own a property, that feeling of satisfaction when you get the keys, you know, it's so great. It's just as great as when you get the keys to a place you're renting. You don't even need to own it. Like knowing a place is yours is just, uh, you know what I'm saying? This place is mine. It's such a satisfying feeling. Again, whether you're owning a property or renting even a property, something about it. Just a, something all you kids living at home can look forward to. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, the thing that concerns me is how we're going to move the ants to the new place. At first, when we were talking to Dennis, before Dennis ever saw the ant room, he was talking about like getting a permit to rip the huge window like off the side of my building and lowering the ant setups with a pulley. What? He was talking about lowering the setups using those, you know, th those, those things that the guys use to wash the windows that like lowers down the building. Those things crank the ant setups down out of the window. I'm like, what? That's crazy. And it sounds expensive. So um, after he saw it, as you saw, we're gonna just carry the setups down. Terrariums will not fit in the elevator horizontally. They will not. Meaning, we're just gonna have to hire a bunch of guys to literally carry the massive terrariums of ants. Mind you, this is only probably for the Golden Empire and the Fire Nation, all you AC family. But the rest we could probably lower just through the elevator. Um, there are certain setups that will be requiring a lot of disassembly, uh, like the my black crazy ants, which have a piping system which runs all the way downstairs to my kitchen that basically needs to be disassembled i'm not sure how that's gonna work well it'll just take time but yeah so the goal is to completely transport the ant room to the new location and that's my plan for all of you ac family who've been asking how are the ants gonna be moving that's the plan yes hi ligaya mm -hmm. Mabuhay squad. It's been a whole day. Sun is going down. <whistles> Typical whole day with the bird. Mm-hmm. Yes. She's so clingy today for some reason. How come you're so clingy? How come you want to be with me so much? Hmm? <laughs> such a sweet bird today. I mean, you always are, but... Mm -hmm. Such a good bird today. What? <laughs> You're so loud all of a sudden. Guys, you hear that noise? The uh, 
You know, I, I, I love when she does it. It sounds quite nice to the ear, but I was like, where did she learn that? And then I realized, see, she copied my whistle. And I've only done that maybe a few times. <laughs> see, I can't even do it, I'm laughing. <laughs> Okay, she doesn't want to do it anymore. But guys, she learned to copy my whistle. I was like wondering where that sound came from. And I'm like, it sounds so nice. And then one day I whistled at her and I'm like, that's where she learned. You learned my whistle. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So guys, today is Halloween. Mm -hmm. Um, particularly for those around the world who celebrate Halloween. Now here in the Philippines, it's pretty interesting. Halloween wasn't so big from what I understand. Like when I, when I first got here, not really a lot of people were doing Halloween. I mean, sometimes kids would do trick-or-treating in the malls. Um, and then uh, like the really upscale subdivisions, they would do trick-or-treating. But generally Philippines never used to be big on Halloween. Um, and then uh, as the years started going by more nightclubs and bars used to celebrate like dressing up and Halloween stuff now Halloween is Pretty well celebrated here in the Philippines um, But I was trying to look around for a pumpkin to maybe carve with her <laughs> for this vlog um, Couldn't find any pumpkins right now today aren't available in stores um, and then I was thinking maybe I can dress up and see her reaction to me dressed up as like a vampire or even as someone else um, But I didn't want to scare her. So I'm like nah Not not gonna do that either. So <laughs> I guess we're not gonna celebrate Halloween with everybody who's watching the Gaia mm -hmm. But anyways guys happy Halloween to all of you guys from us Mabuhay squad, be sure if you're trick-or-treating or celebrating Halloween, um, always be safe. Check your candy, kids. Mm -hmm. And all you parents who have kids, um, make sure to check your kids' candy, right? Yes, le guys. Make sure to check. I couldn't even find any decor, like spider webs or something to like decorate <laughs> the guy's cage. Couldn't find any. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't. My idea, though, maybe not if not this year or next year, is to dress up like a wizard and have Ligaya be my hawk on my huge staff. Wouldn't that be awesome? Or me as a pirate and Ligaya, my, my parrot, <laughs> on my shoulder, right? Wouldn't that be fun? Mm-hmm. 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 Guys, apparently, uh, the vet who watches uh, these videos, uh, Doc Emily, thank you for watching, avian vet. She told me to smell the guy's breath every day. Mm, smells good. Smells sweet and nutty. Um, the reason for that is if you smell like something rotten, like rotten flesh, it could be because food is stuck in her crop and that's something serious that needs to be dealt with. Um, but no, you always have good breath. Mm-hmm. Yes, especially when you eat like cardamom. And I love the smell of like her pre-digested um, formula. Guys, you know what? Another thing that she does is I'll try to I'll try to vlog it next time she does it. She regurgitates now, like actively. Especially when I'm doing this with her, all of a sudden I'll hear like this gurgling and then she'll shake her head and like little drops of regurgitated food comes out. This is what parents do. It's like a it's like a, a an act of parrot like affection. You know what I mean? Because par parents regurgitate for their chicks. It's like another way parrots, um, I guess, show love. They regurgitate. Just don't regurgitate in my mouth, all right? <laughs> it's a nice sunset, don't you know guys? Yes, I agree. Can't wait to finally live in our new home. Not too sure when that's gonna be though. They still gotta build it. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have your own aviary. Aren't you excited about that? It's gonna be great. Can't wait. Cannot wait. 
We got some pretty epic plans for you, guys. Hey, maybe you can have a sister or a brother. Hmm? What do you say? You'll have to teach him the rules. By then, hopefully, you've learned all the rules. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You can even teach him certain words and phrases, right? Teach him or her where to pee and poo. Hmm. You have to be a big sister. And you gotta preen his or her face like what I'm doing to you. All right? Good girl. No bullying, all right? Gotta be a good example. Violence not allowed. We don't bully in the Mabuhay Squad household, right? Only love, always. Thank you. <gasps> Mabuhay Squad, you won't believe what just came. Another package! Legaya! Legaya! I got a package for you! Oh my god! Legaya, come! Come, come, come! Yes! My dragon came upon summoning! Yes! Legaya, I have something for you that you've never tried yet. Mm hmm. We must unpackage it first, of course! So Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I love bubble wrap. Yes. I wonder how bubble wrap is for parrots. I wonder if it's as satisfying to parrots as it is to humans. Wait, let's, let's, let's pop this. Oh, it's the little kind. <gasps> okay, we can pop that later. Oh, yes. <gasps> The guy, I think you'll love this. This is the first time you've ever come in contact with this. I think you would love to try this. Mabo High Squad. The thing that I bought for the guy that she's about to try mm, for the first time. If I can get this packaging open. All right. Is 